What's poppin' T-Squad? It's me, Keisha, and I am here with my All T All Shade Raising Canaan Season 1 Season Finale Review. Um, I'm just gonna go off the top of my head. Uh, I gave, I give the, the Season Finale Review, mm, I give tonight's episode a B plus because it was pretty much predictable. Um knew Captain Howard wasn't going to die. He's going to use the fact that it was Kanan um, as an advantage next season to get um, Rock to sign the permission, you know, slip or whatever to get him to um, give him his kidney. He's going to use that to blackmail her. Um, I think that Lou is still going to, of course, help rock out next season but he's going to figure out a way to further distance himself from her um and really focus on the music shit i do think that he's going to have a new love interest next season um uh, kanan is going to really start to realize his mama ain't shit <laughs> and that his mama used him for her own selfish reasons and that everything that she has done and said has been a lie the mother is a lot like ghosts where she's really for self. Like she is the female ghost. She's all for self. Anything that's going to push her agenda, her narrative, she's going to do no matter the cost, no matter who's it going to hurt. Um, she's just more compassionate with it versus how a uh, ghost was. But Kana and the mother have a ghost and Tariq um situation going on here uh i think that rock and symphony's relationship is still gonna be somewhat chaotic where he's gonna get tired of her using him for her own good when she needs it he's gonna like put his foot down with her and like i said throughout this season i still think that her lifestyle choices is going to end up affecting him and being his demise at some point. I also thought back to power and how when Kanan's character got out of jail, he said he was going to see his mom. Just because he said he was going to see his mom does not technically mean that she's alive because remember when he died, there was no one to pick up his ashes. So that either means that the mother was dead and he meant that he was going to like visit her grave or his mother was in jail. And that's why no one could come pick up the ashes. And maybe Lou, you know, went on to do his music shit and don't fuck with the family. I feel like Marvin is going to die at some point. Um, but, you know, he was going to hold the family down at some to the end. I really feel like Lou is going to go rogue on their asses. Because remember on the first episode how uh, 50 Cent's voiceover said how loyal Marvin was. So I think Lou is going to end up, like I said, distancing himself from this lifestyle and from his sister and doing his own thing. I don't really see his character dying. I would be shocked if he did. Um, shit, knowing they ass, they fuck around and give his ass a spin a spinoff when the series is over. Um, but I do see Rock's character in the end, um, in the last season, dying or going to jail. And that's how Kanan's character hooks up with Breeze. Because why would he have been working under somebody else? Remember, he works under Breeze. Um, and then Ghost and Tommy knock Breeze off and get him sent to jail. So it would make any sense for him to be working under somebody else if his mama and them was still in the game. So I feel like that's what's going to end up happening with that whole situation. I still can't wait to see like what it is that finally makes Juke decide to become a cop. I said um, last week that I do think that it's going to be um, Rock that ends up pushing that narrative onto her because it's always good to have somebody on the inside uh, a dirty cop on the inside to help so i really think that that's why she becomes a, a cop so she could be a dirty cop to help the family out and give them inside information um kanan's character tonight's episode typical kid you know put in these fucked up situations like he's just he wants to be ready but he's not ready for this lifestyle 
Um, like when he didn't even finish the job. He didn't shoot Howard in the head like his mama told him. Then his dumb ass fell, scratched his hand on the pavement. I'm like, his, his blood would still be on the pavement. He didn't get the change of clothes. Like, his ass is just fucking stupid. He is so fucking annoying. But he's a kid, so he's supposed to fuck up. And even Juke said that to his ass. Like, you can see that Juke is way more conniving, calculated, and cunning. Whereas Kanan is like a loose cannon where he just think he knows everything. But I feel like all of these situations that he was in season one helped to mold him into the canaan that we see or that we saw in power um i can't wait to see next season what's going to happen with marvin marvin now knows that tony was the one that snitched on him don't think that he's gonna do any time or nothing like that he's gonna get out and kill her ass but this is going to further prove to rock why she can't fully depend on him because he ended up getting knocked um what else happened like i said throughout this season i feel like rock and the bodega lady are going to be like this they gonna partner the fuck up and be on a thug thizzle doing this um drug shit she's gonna end up getting the plug from the bodega lady cousin you know to do that you know do get do this work or whatever together um, I do think that we're going to have a trial situation. You know, Power Universe is known for having trials. So I feel like in season two, we're going to have a trial of Neek um, being um, prosecuted for shooting Detective Howard. Uh, you know, his people and stuff still going to be on the street. So Rock's still going to have some issues. So I'm wondering, Rock is going to have still some issues with Neek from jail and with um old boy character that she kept on going to see at the bingo place she gonna have issues with his ass too so i feel like she's gonna have two enemies next season um but uh yeah we're gonna end up having a big trial all of that shit going down uh only um i see this season the only death predictions that i predicted that ended up happening was uh Cindy Lapa, look Carrie uh Carrie Underwood died this season. Um and that was it as far as I believe. I thought we would have more significant deaths this season, but we didn't. But I do think by next season Famous is still going to die. I don't see it for him. Um Howard Detective Howard going to be around for a minute. I could see Omar Epps character dying around season 4 or some shit like that. Um, what else? Davina's character is, of course, is going to come back at some point, and that whole situation is going to end up being taken care of. I can see Davina dying at the hands of Jukebox because right now she, it's all good between her and Kanan, but at some point it won't be, and she's going to get her payback through Davina by killing her and taking away someone that Kanan actually loves. So I see that happening as well. Um, Rock is a cold-blooded bitch. Like I said, she is the female ghost, and I'm here for it. She cold-blooded. She don't give a fuck. And that's going to be her detriment, much like, much like ghosts. And with the fact that she don't give a fuck about nobody, really, she don't give a fuck about her own goddamn son to put her son in that fucking situation. And then she don't give a fuck about her brother, the fact that she won't even let Lou out the game when he told her he wanted to be fucking done. And so now I see what the mama was saying to her, like, don't put your shit off on me you the reason why you are the way you are like you fucked up but um yeah overall i give season one of raising canaan the whole season um and a i think that the writing was good the locations the costuming the plot lines the storylines the uh, dialogue everything was pretty much on point i give this an a i feel like it was better constructed than ghost season one um i love the pacing of everything it was written so good of course we had i had issues here and there with certain things but overall i feel like they did a great job um makai the young man that plays uh kanan i feel like he got 50 cents voice down his mannerisms all that um Haley kilgore who plays jukebox has done a phenomenal job i love her subtle nuances and um, with her face, facial expressions, loved her. She was a standout for me. Patina, um, who plays Rock, of course, stand out. She 
was giving me Corilla Deville on tonight's episode, like with the hair flying and shit, when she was tripping out. Love her, of course. Malcolm Mays, my boo thing. He is a standout, of course, playing Lulu. He just brought like this quiet confidence, this quiet killer to the screen. Um, London Brown, who plays Marvin. I loved his character up until he beat his daughter, but he did what needed to be done, I guess. <laughs> um, Joy Badass killed it, nailed it as unique it was a really standout cast i really felt like they put together a really good cast for season one and they did the damn thing i really can say that so i'm really pleased i can't wait for season two i know they're already filming so we'll get season two around this time next year and uh yeah so let me know what y'all thought about the season finale of raising canaan make sure to thumbs up this video like and subscribe hit that notification bell button i love you guys wasn't planning on doing a review but my voice is feeling better as you can see i'm laid up or whatever but my voice was feeling better enough for me to do a review so love you guys thanks for watching this review and i'll see you on the next one bye